Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and on this second part I'm going to be focusing on changing the color of her hair, color of her eyes, putting some makeup and toning down a little bit her skin, you know, to make it look more darker. So first I'm gonna start with her hair. First thing I'm gonna do is with the selection tool just gonna right click select like cool hair and I'm gonna go to the modify panel here under appearance and I, I need to expand this a little bit it's barely any space um, I go on outfits and then I'm gonna to select all this option here hair fine and base and then on this tab here the select sub substance material you can either do the traditional or the PBR I'm just gonna do the traditional select that and then active appearance editor <clears throat> and once it's active um, you have the option to increase the resolutions of the textures for the hair um, in this case I am increasing it to 2048 by 2048 and once you're done with that just close the editor and now I'm just gonna go under this tab here the material tab and you notice you got um three textures here for the hair which is the hair fine in the base so <clears throat> hold on I'm just gonna start with this one and this option here adjust color we're just gonna go there and then you're gonna start adjusting the color but before I do that I forgot to do something first which is um, in order for me to grasp what the, the colors of the materials I'm, I'm kind of edit here I am going to change the background to another background and for me to do that I'll go to content um, project and on this tab stage so you got many different background here I'm just gonna select the IBL and then I'm gonna use this one studio 02 Let's see I think with this one I could get a more feeling of what I'm editing. So now, again, I'm just going to select the hair. Going back here, make sure I got the first texture hair. And then just going to open. Yeah, just color here. And then I'm going to start with the hue here. Just in to can get a tone that I like. I'm gonna saturate it a little bit, and then again adjust to tone more like a purple. I think 62, pretty much, and then brightness. I think that should look good, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think that should look good there. Okay. So you notice that only certain parts of her hair, um, when I adjust it here, only turn purple because that's just the the first texture, which is the hair. So now. 
make sure that you have to do the same thing for for the other um, texture which will be putting the same values here negative 8 negative 62 and 30 so let's do that real quick here okay negative a And on this one, thank you. Okay. So that's done there. Now you can always, you know, do, do like on the fine here. For example, you can always put like some highlights here to make it look more, you know, fancy, I guess. Like if I were to adjust a little bit the hue, see? Or something a little bit like a highlight or something. I don't know. It's just an example of what you can do. See? That's what I like. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Yes. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Now I'm gonna hold on. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Okay. I'm just gonna now edit her eyes. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um. Okay, just gonna right click eyeball and select base eyes. And <clears throat> I'm here in the modify um, material. And I can do the same thing here, like, you know, to adjust the entire texture here. Just gonna go here and adjust it to purple. But we got a problem doing that, and that is that uh, this area here in the eye. This area here is white. This area here is, I think, what it's called, a sclera. And it's, it, it remains kind of white, but I just want that dark. So, I'm just going to reset this. In order for me to fix that, I'm going to have to go back to the appearance and on their outfits. You see this two options are already checked. So I'm just gonna active the appearance editor. See? I don't know why when you activate this all goes very glossy, you know, that reflection there, but at that I, I will tell you how to fix it. And then you see many many you know areas or parts of the eyeball here see like the pupil strands iris sclera veins i i mean occlusion we're just gonna go here on the sclera and you see this color which is that color here i'm just gonna select this purple and make it darker more darker yeah see and that makes the scleria area now dark okay and now we, uh, we'll close the editor and then we'll go back again see we the texture is selected and then just color and then we are going to now edit that scene Oops. There. Okay. Now, in order for me to get this um, reflection, which is way exaggerated, some kind of glossiness, I'm just going to select the reflection texture here. See? 
and under this option here strength I'm just going to lower that down see a reflection there and then obviously let's see the this brightness here that's a specular so we're just gonna tone it down lower down actually see so it doesn't look weird still too bright okay. I guess that will work. I guess that will work. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to move on to edit her skin. And I'm going to go to the modify panels, appearance, and skin. And I will have to active the editor. But before I can do that, um, once you active the editor, the editor is going to take everything that was added to the to the model, like the hair, her bra, her underwear, and she's going to be completely naked. And I have heard that you two might take some issue with that when 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 it comes to nudity. So for this section here, while I'm editing her skin, I'm just gonna have her zoom like that and that's the only thing I will be showing just to be safe so I'm going to active the editor this might take a while oh okay and you see you notice that now the hair and the bra the is gone and on this option here so you can select different options here i'm going to select this one skin base okay and we're going to look for a setting here which is here the brightness okay i'm going to start adjusting that I'll tone it down until we see a color i might like Uh, yeah, like negative 0 0.09. <coughs> and look at the eyebrows here. See, I can adjust also that later on. So, just going to go back here real quick to... Okay, I'm just going to go here on this top settings here. And... Let me expand this a little bit. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> and you can adjust the or increase the resolution on the texture. So 4096 by 4096. Okay. And notice now that for the rest of her body all you have to do is update and they will update everything say so it takes quite a while And there we have it, see? It update everything. Okay, so now, <clears throat> here comes the fun part, which is um, adding some makeup. And I'm going to select this tab here, the makeup. Okay. And we already have the eyebrow here. Let me select that. And again, I'm going to look for a setting here, which is that will stop brightness. And I'm going to start adjusting it till it pretty much matches the brightness in her skin. Okay. 
I think. Yeah, I think just oh, one more. Yeah, I think like negative point thir thirteen. And while I'm here, I can also adjust the color on her eyebrows to a purple. It's too bluish. Oh. Yeah, just like that, like a purple. The only thing I don't like is, uh, see, part of the skin also turns purple. So I may have to adjust the opacity here a little bit so it doesn't look that bad. So it doesn't look that bad, see. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the left to the content makeup. Okay, we're gonna start with the foundation makeup here. And let me see, what can I do? I'm going to select this one. They, they have many different, you know, styles of foundations here. I'm just going to select this one. Okay, there we have it. And you see, they got the highlight, blush, contour, and the foundation. I'm only going to edit the blush. Because I want to make that a purple. And here's the color. Just going to use this one. And I'm going to lower a little bit the opacity. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to move on for the um, eye makeup. Okay. And I'm going to start with the eyeshadow here. So they got many selections here. These are cool. And they are worth, you know, invest on this, on this ones. And I'm going to select this one, the rocker. Now I'm going to hit, hit this arrow here and go back to the previous folder and then I'm going to select the eyeliner. And let me see. Let's see if I can find one that I like. This one, the underline. And you got options here. If I hit replace, it'll probably replace the eyeshadow. So you have to select add because I want to add that on top of this one. Okay. And select that option there. And uh, I'm going to select. Um, purple I guess to make that kind of purple adjust the brightness a little bit a little bit of saturation that looks good okay now the eyelashes is only the style the eyelashes like for me to adjust the color I have to do it on the outfits so let, let's move on to the lip makeup and they got many here they got a lot see they look awesome i'm going to select this one the acid purple and select the option 
And I'm gonna adjust the color because it's too pink. Maybe um, this one. It's going to desaturate it a little bit. Let's change more. Yeah. And let me adjust the opacity. Let's see. <coughs> And we have here the the eyebrow, but that's just um different styles of eyebrows you could select. But I guess this one will work for for now. So I'm guessing that we are done with the uh, makeup so far. Let me see. Just rotate her. Yeah, I think this is it for the makeup. So when you're done, you have to uncheck this to close the editor and everything comes back. And it might take a while. Okay. And there we have it. And wow, she looks awesome. see now she have that makeup on she looks amazing see so let's just save this by saving the project and um, before I leave there's something I want to do and I'm going to select her body and you notice that I don't know if you're able to notice that you see her contour here on her body kind of looks polygonal see it doesn't look smooth and in order for me to fix that I can go to the modify panel, attributes, and this option, smooth mesh, select that. The only thing is, um, make sure that you have good capabilities on the computer, otherwise it might slow it down. And in my case, I'm just going to go one more level of smoothness and for the render let's see now she doesn't look that polygonal actually see we start looking her from different angles she looks good so I guess this is it for this second part. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you on the third part. Thank you.